Okay, guys, now here's everything for my $25 Thanksgiving dinner challenge. We've got the cornbread stuffing, the box mac and cheese, which it, which is a good deal because it already has like a powder in it. So I can just add this, uh, some evaporated milk to it to give it more flavor. And uh, so I got this apple pie filling because the apples didn't look good. And this is what I got at the time at the time i went to the store th this was the best option and the best prices that could get me everything that i needed for uh this challenge uh we got some cranberry sauce here got some cream of chicken soup which i put into my cornbread stuffing got some mixed greens because the fresh collard greens didn't look good at that time they have since looked better uh got and now and uh some cut yams i uh, got this ham steak here we got some cheese here i'm gonna slice that up and have that's the appetizer cheese and crackers i ate the grapes already had some grapes and um here is the chicken it's already seasoned with creole seasoning i have some onions in there so when it bakes it'll make a nice stock and I'll season the greens and add some more of that, moisten up the stuffing with that. I'll just put this ham steak in a cast iron skillet and warm it up, slice it up, and that'll be good maybe like the second half. You know, earlier in the day, you might eat the turkey dressing and all that, and then later on, go back and get some ham, mac and cheese, and, and greens and all that good stuff. Um, so I just wanted to share this with you that yes, you can. You know, with the, some plan, you can still have a nice Thanksgiving dinner just for $25. I have a lot of young family members and younger uh, subscribers that are subscribing to me. They're just starting out in life. And so, you know, you can, you're watching your money. I've been there. I've been married 30 years and I used to entertain a lot and as a caterer. You know, there's always a budget. You always need to do the best you can within budget. Even people that had a lot of money, I still gave them the best for the amount of money that they were spending. So I'm going to go on and put the, um, so th this is why I'm doing this. And also, you know, there are people that are really, you know, struggling financially. And if you are suffering for, from food insecurity, I do recommend you know, contact your church, go to a food bank, and there is a lot of help out there at this time. And uh, so I don't take this lightly. I do this because I don't want to waste food, and I want to be a good steward over everything that I am blessed with. And, um, you know, just just takes a little, little more effort to uh, do the same thing for less. You can do a tasteful event for less. Okay, so I'm going to go on and put this in the oven. The oven is preheating to three at 350. I'm going to put that in the oven for about an hour, get everything else ready to go, and uh, I'll come back when everything, to pull everything together. Okay, the macaroni's done boiling. Put a little pat of butter in there. seasoning packet I don't use this very much it's been years since I've used this but I usually use elbow macaroni but that's fine See, I'm looking for my can opener. So I'm going to add some evaporated milk. It calls for, I think, half cup. what it 
looks like so far. This will get the job done if you, when you really are on a budget shoot. Ain't nothing wrong with this. Mm -hmm. I need a little more Creole seasoning in here. And that block of cheese. I sliced up some for appetizers, and then I grated. I grated some of it. So let me put some in the mac and cheese. And that's why I got just that one, can. and I got two cans. So only need one. Didn't even need all of that. And then for Christmas, see that uh, um, you know, that'll reduce my budget for my Christmas dinner because I was able to get stuff. Let me taste it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Put it in this bowl. This is what we're going to serve it out of. Just like any other mac and cheese. And then garnish it. Hit it with a little paprika. Okay, everything's prepped. Closer. And when it's closer time to for the uh, chicken to come out, then you know just make sure everything else is heated up. This still took a lot of effort. So I'll broil broil this. So right now we're going to go on and just keep it covered. Just waiting on the chicken.
Okay guys, so this is everything. Well, I didn't pan sear the uh, the ham. Um, we do have a ham steak in there, so that's all. That only takes a second to heat up. And so I didn't want to put out too much right now, but here's the cornbread dressing. And then there's uh, the apple crisp right there with a pecan and cinnamon topping. And here we have uh, sweet potatoes with the brown sugar and cinnamon topping there. And here is the turkey. I'm not turkey. Here is the, uh, this is the, the chicken. And it got a little, you know, some of the spices burned, but that's okay because it is so moist and good. And look at all that stock we have. And uh, it's very moist and it's up to temperature. And then we have our greens here. Here's another um, some apple crisp right there. There's some mac and cheese. And over here, here's our place setting. Place setting for two. And we have our centerpiece here. And then I just quickly just sliced up the cheese and crackers just in case we want a little nibbles. And uh, there's our drink. I thought it was red because it said berry, mixed berry. So it turned out to be blue, but it's fine. It's good. So, you know, this can be, this is very, very delicious. Looking forward to eating this. And just wanted to inspire you guys and show you that you can do a lot with what you have. See the decor? I just I just shopped my home for the decor. And $25 for dinner. And you can eat off of this two and three times and you still got ham, okay? So just wanted to share that with you guys and happy Thanksgiving to everyone. I appreciate your support. I appreciate you supporting this channel. And again, if you are suffering from food insecurity, please don't hesitate to reach out for help. Your local food bank, churches, and other charities in your area will be more than happy to assist. All right, guys. Thank you so much. See you in my next video. Bye, Mom.